Sai wanted to come on here and ask you a question. It just so happens that Sai declined an offer to hang out with friends this weekend. It can happen, right? But no, instead the friends called Sai antisocial in the group chat. Have you ever been mislabeled as antisocial? When you prefer staying at home rather than accepting your friend's invitation for a day out? Like many other psychological concepts and terms, antisocial is often misused in everyday conversation. And it can really make you feel bad, real bad, just like Sai. Often, it's not like you don't want to, but more specifically, a case where you really can't. Introverts are often lumped in with antisocial people. Many defining characteristics can distinguish between introversion and antisocial behavior. So let's take a look at the signs you are an introvert, not antisocial. Number one, you prefer the inner world of your mind. Do you tend to be more withdrawn, retiring, and reserved? Do you prefer the inner life of your mind, that is, your thoughts and feelings over the outer world of other people and things? If you relate to these questions, you are most likely an introvert. According to the American Psychological Association, introversion is defined as orientation towards the internal private world of oneself and one's inner thoughts and feelings, rather than towards the outer world and of people and things. What about antisocial then, you ask? Antisocial is defined as denoting or exhibiting behavior that sharply deviates from social norms and violates other people's rights. Number two, you can relate to others in a healthy way. Despite enjoying others' company, do you sometimes need time for yourself? Are you comfortable contacting people and arranging occasional lunch dates or meetings? If you are selectively social, this makes you an introvert through and through. Although you enjoy spending time with friends, you may need more time to recuperate from a particularly training social event. Being antisocial, on the other hand, involves working in ways against society regardless of the feelings of others. They don't care much about meetups. As antisocial, the ability of an individual to engage with others in a healthy way is severely undermined. Their irresponsible and reckless behavior makes it difficult to sustain long-term relationships. Number three, you enjoy deep connections with the people you are close to. Do you have a desire to establish a deep, genuine connection with the people you are close to? Yes, you can be an introvert and still crave the idea of having a deep, meaningful connection. The only condition is that the introvert in you wants that connection to be established with a select few or even just one person. Being an introvert, you cherish the idea of having a romantic relationship, companionship, or close friendship. According to research, having close, healthy relationships is rewarding to introverts and increases their level of happiness. On the other hand, for someone who is antisocial, it is impossible to seek out or establish deep connections with others. Number four, you are highly empathetic. Do you easily relate to other people's experiences? Are you always considerate of your actions and their consequences on other people? If such scenarios are a common occurrence in your life, then you most surely walk the introvert way of life rather than antisocial. As an introvert, you feel uneasy when you know that you've hurt someone else's feelings. However, antisocial individuals behave oppositely they don't consider the fact that their behavior may come across as blunt or offensive to others. Number five, you enjoy doing things with your friends and the people you love. What kind of activities do you enjoy? Do you prefer quieter activities rather than going to social gatherings? Similar to popular belief, going to quiet coffee shops, bookstores, or parks instead of loud social gatherings is surely an introvert's preference. Contrary to popular belief, you can still be an introvert if you enjoy attending social gatherings. You can be an exciting and adventurous person who enjoys the company of your loved ones. But yes, there's a condition for this too. Only with friends and the people you know. In contrast, having fun with groups of people doesn't appeal to antisocial individuals at all. People often think that being an introvert and being antisocial are the same thing, but they're not. People usually assume introverts do not have social skills and don't enjoy the company of others. Their reclusiveness can be viewed negatively. It's just a matter of protecting their energy and respecting their boundaries. On the other hand, an antisocial person isn't protecting themselves. Rather, their behavior is often manipulative or reckless. Do you think you can use these tips in your life? If you made it to the end, drop a heart emoji in the comments below or let us know what you think. And don't forget to like and share this if you think it could help someone else.